Hi everybody. I don't know if you can hear my fan in the background. I have a little fan going, but it's hot enough that I'm not going to turn it off. I'm sorry if that is a sensory thing for you, but it is a sensory thing for me to be this fucking hot. I mean, it's not even that hot. Like, it's not a heat wave like it has been the last couple of days, but I'm still just like, <sighs> why? <laughs> why? I don't really like the heat. Anyway, let's get into Monday's video. Yes, I am wearing a head wrap. I did just do my hair and I'm not going to take it down for the video because I am going to a socially distant pizza party later and I want it to look bouncy and full of life. Um, but that's why I'm wearing my headphones. Hopefully sound is okay. I'll definitely check it before I post. I'm also wearing this great shirt that says Ancestors Guide Me from Nalgona Positivity Pride uh, on Etsy. That's Nalgona Positivity Pride. Check them out. Really cool. Love their shit. Not, this is not sponsored, by the way. I bought this shirt as a reward for one of my, um, it was a prize for meeting my eating goals. This head wrap, I got it. Okay, there. Now it's snug again. Anyway, um, and it just came today, and I'm just like, I'm super happy about it. I have, since I had that slip on Tuesday where I forgot to take my supplement, I have met my eating goals every single day. So, back on track with that. That makes me very happy. I am feeling, I know last Monday I was feeling a lot of scarcity. This month is the month where we basically run out of startup money. And it's also the month where we basically <laughs> make enough money to support, where I make enough money to support this business. And that is amazing. On Monday I was feeling very scarce about it, very worried. Today I'm feeling very hopeful and energized. That is also a good time for me to remember to pay attention to my body. Because I feel so happy when I'm working, because work is such a, a sort of dopamine hit for me, such a rewarding feeling, I can get sucked into that and get distracted and then not fill my cup in other ways, not be creative, not, you know, take care of the house um, in the way that I like to, um, you know, not do the things that feed me in other ways, make me feel good in other ways, like self-care, making sure my hair is okay, etc., etc. So definitely being able to be like grateful, happy, glad that I'm working, um, soak in all that good joy from work, which I genuinely feel joy when I work. And also remember that I am more than a worker. I am a lot of other things and I can, I can take care of those too. Next part, I wanted to mention that if y'all are in my professional network, if we have emailed professionally before, you are probably going to get an email from my sales team. Be nice to them, y'all. Like when you get that email, I know it's from a salesperson. I also see the responses that they get. So <laughs> be nice to the sales team. They're trying to help me pay my mortgage. So that is a real person on the other end of that line. And also me too. So just wanted to say that. Gotten some of the responses today. They're not mean, but also... This is not a bot. There's no program. We're a team. So just want to point that out. Uh, and any suggestions you have to make our reach outs better, please also tell me. I do want that. I want that constructive feedback. So getting into the intentions for this week, obviously continuing my eating goals. I want to build that streak back up. And then I want to remember to act with kindness in my day-to-day -day life. Um, I can get so stressed out and so caught up in doing things the right way that I forget to be kind. I forget to be kind to myself. You know, that's taking breaks, eating foods that I love, taking walks, engaging in creative, creative pursuits, um, relaxing, doing things I like, like playing, playing video games and reading comic books and making things and writing for fun. And then also I can feel, um, I can, I can lose the, the, the memory. I can lose, um, the thing that reminds me to be kind to others. That is a fatal flaw of mine. I, um, grew up in a family that was not kind to each other. They did not speak kindly to each other. And in fact, um, 
was very suspicious of kindness growing up because usually when someone in my family was being kind to you, it's because they were about to scam you or take something from you or confess something to you <laughs> or trick you into something. Um, we didn't have a lot of love for each other growing up. I mean, let me rephrase that. We had a lot of love for each other. We just did not know how to show it. And in my family growing up, being sort of like hard, being tough, being inured to um, the sort of like general violence of the world was a good thing. And I don't really want to live that way anymore. That's not what I want to tr teach my future children. That's not how I want to conduct myself in business or in my personal life. So remembering that when I get tired, when I get overwhelmed, my kindness, um, that's like an accent that I lose. So being able to focus on being kind to myself and others and keep that at the forefront of my mind is going to be very important as I'm swept up into this week, which to me feels and looks like it's going to be an, a good, big, lots of things happening, exciting kind of week. So that's something to carry with me. And then the third intention that I have is to avoid multitasking. And, and I was reading this book where this lady was talking about multitasking and I was like, we have different, th we have different definitions of multitask. Oh, look, I'm the trans pride flag. I got the blue, the pink and the white. Ha! Anyway, that's not related, but just, you know, trans pride. Anyway, avoid multitasking as you literally, as I just demonstrated, that was not even set up as I just demonstrated. <laughs> My brain is thinking like three to 12 things at a time. For me, avoid multitasking does not mean focus on just one thing because that's impossible. That's not who I am. That's not how I work. For me, avoid, like, avoid multitasking means only work on one project or task at a time. So that means to me that everything that's going on is focused on that one task. So that means that right now, I'm here with you. I'm recording a video. I've got a script down there. I'm looking at the script. I'm also looking at the the screen to see if I'm in frame, if I'm looking okay, etc., etc. That's not multitasking. That's one task. I'm doing one task as hard as I can. So when I'm doing multitasking, I want to be conscious of the fact that everything I am doing is in service of that task. So for example, right before this, I wrote the script for this video. As I was writing the script for the video, I had the video from last Thursday playing in the background so I could orient myself and write a script that had good flow and had good narrative and also address what I had said last week or how last week went. I am capable of re listening to a video and writing a script for another video. In fact, that's how I prefer to work. I like two things going on at one time. Um, the way I have attention, the way my attention works, um, I usually, I, I think of it as like a power bar and I have to fill the whole bar for me to have good focus. So that means if it's not a very cerebral activity, I'm listening to an audiobook to keep me focused on the tasks that I need to do. If that means that if it's, if it's a very cerebral activity, like I'm writing a script or I'm writing um, copy for commercial use from whole cloth, then I have music going on because most of my bandwidth is taken up with that task because it's a heavy task. That's how I work. And so that's what I mean when I say avoiding multitasking. I mean only working on one task at a time. I don't mean no music. I don't mean no audiobook, no nothing because I like noise. I like lots of inputs. That's when I can just slip into focus and really, really come down on work. And for a long time, I felt like that was a problem of mine, that that was like a bad thing about me. And um, it's taken working for myself and tracking my hours to know when and how I get the best work out of myself to realize that that is just how my brain prefers to be. And I don't have to have any kind of moral positive or negative about it. That's just how it is. So um, when I say avoid multitasking, that's what I mean. Come to LinkedIn on Thursday and I will have an update for you. What are your intentions? I always tell you to put your intentions. Nobody ever does. Put, your, put those intentions, everybody. 
See you on Thursday.